welcome everybody. I am Shiro Simp, and I will be putting together some Hex Rays and Black Knights today. So, yeah, we're going to have them being able to be interchangeable and whatnot. So, let's get to it and get some music on, because why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not here. You're not streaming. It's 5 30. Oh, uh, yeah, she's not even here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Last one here. So, uh, Frosty, I'm gonna have to tell you to not uh, get certain, like, things. <laughs> Do not buy certain night haunts, because I... Hopefully, if everything goes right, I think I just got, like, really cheap cheap ones. And if I did, well, hooray. Oh my god. No, no, you don't understand, guys. Remember when I told you about that thing, Hatch? Like, called Hatchet? Oh, that thing is super duper. Like, I got my order that is with uh, Mango Smasher, and uh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 you don't know. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's... You need someone in... Uh... You need someone to literally be in the UK that will literally help you ship it over here. And some of the stuff is ridiculously cheap. Like, bruh. Bruh. Like, Storm... Stormcast, and, uh... Like, it's just... Yeah, it's like a sub thing, but you can only get it in the UK. Which is kind of dumb. So, like, I literally just put faith, and... You know, that's it. Like, I got a bunch of stuff, and it should be arriving... Maybe, like, this is, like, the old one, too. Like, it's already at issue 60 out of 80. So, a lot of the prior issues you can't get. But some of the issues you can get. And some of the issues are... Like, if you do the math on it, it just blows your mind. You're like, okay, so you're telling me that, like, $12 US and you get, like, a full, like, $35, $45, like, box... And it's just like, what's the catch? There is no catch. It's just that price. I don't know how the hell they do it. I'm pretty sure what it is is that there's like minor quality control issues. Like there might be like error inclusions in the in the plastic, but they don't know where it is, right? They're not going to x-ray everything. So literally what they did is just like, okay, like they put it on the scale Okay, for some reason, it's like three grams off. Okay, give it to this company. They're going to sell it like wholesale. Instead of like having to like break down the sprue and like re like do all this other stuff. It's just like, I don't know how the heck they work it. But they also have like their own like custom mini. It's so confusing. But yeah. So, if my uh, order comes in soon, uh, yeah. I have to actually check. What in the world did I do here? Um... What is it? 
Frosty, I need you to not get a chain rasp four, please. Frosty? Frosty? Hey, Frosty. Frosty going once? I, uh... Yeah, don't don't order that one. Don't order that one. If everything goes right, I'm gonna have. Uh, I got one for you because I know you said you wanted a bunch of night haunts, and that is like a really good bang for your buck kind of thing. Like it's insane. Like, it's literally, like, $15 Canadian. And you get, like, the full Chain Rasps thing. I was just like, what the hell? Like, it's, it's not it's not right. <laughs> I feel as if I went to, like, the Games Workshop store, I would just get really angry. I'm going to see if my, uh, because I kind of feel bad, like, asking Mango nonstop, right? So I'm going to see if uh, one of my family members might be up for it, because if he is, then it'll be a lot different. <laughs> So, I bought all these colors the other day. Like, just a bunch. Yeah, like, I don't know. If, if you can, honestly, it's super duper cool. Because when you, when you get that subscription thing, there's some issues that are pretty garbage. Like, they'll literally, like, send you a pot of paint and, like, a stupid tool that you don't care about. But... It, like, the payoff is, is, like, there's some issues that come with, like, $80 models, and you're like, what the hell? Okay, cool. And I just paid how much? Like, 15 bucks? Okay. But, on top of that, there is, like, for the new one that's coming out, you can get, a uh, freaking Reboot Guillaume, or whatever the hell he's called, for literally eight pounds like it comes in one issue and there's a reasoning behind why they can't put it in two issues because let's say if you go to the newsstand and you buy like one but then the next time you go you don't get the second issue then you're just stuck with like sprue that you can't use <laughs> Or, like, if someone buys out literally one magazine, then everybody else can't buy the other one. And then the newsstand would literally be just stuck there with, like, issues that no one wants. Oh, I think uh, Dice Dome's brain just exploded. Just trying to figure... Oh, if you're trying to get it in the States, I will find you the... Uh, forbidden Planet. Here. Here. Go there. These guys do offer shipping worldwide, but your the only issue is that currently, because of, like, the whole COVID situation, uh... They don't want to be liable for, like, stuff getting stuck, and then, like, you know, imagine if it gets, like, stuck at, like, somewhere. They don't want to be responsible for it being stuck and then having it, like, uh, you know, get charged back saying, hey, we never got the thing, but it's still being sent, you know? 
So there is that. And there's like, oh man, it's so stupid. You saw that? I remember why I saw that with uh, like Mango was telling me about it. And I was just like, what the hell is this? Like, look. I was like, okay. I decided to look and it was literally like, oh my god. Like, just the mausoleum set comes in two issues. Like, for the Night Haunts, it's two issues. It equates to, like, $30. It's terrain. What do I care if there's a minor defect? <laughs> like, oh my god, it's so dumb. And it's, like, $120 Canadian. Like, even if shipping cost me, like, $30 just for that one thing, right? I'm just like, okay, that thing literally cost me 30 bucks extra with the shipping and taxes. Yeah, like, that's it. It's just like, okay, that's cool. That's automatic character. But you, like, you see what I mean? Like, it just makes no sense. You're just like, how the fuck? That's why you know you when you go to like a games workshop store, you're just like, okay, I don't want to buy any night haunt here, and I don't want to buy any stormcast here. Because of this. Like, yeah, it is true. You don't get all the fancy packaging and all that stuff. Like, I was worried, like, do they even give you instructions? But it's in the freaking magazine that they send you. Like, I thought it was like a figure it out on your own, like, sort of deal. <laughs> but apparently it's not. Come here, sending stick. No problem. Hey, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Smash, for the lurk. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really should. I think it's like the command is literally for like everyone and it just leaves him a nice message. Oh, like it just. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I blame you, Frosty. You never told me about alert command. A little face. Yeah. I gotta figure out what kind of crazy interactions. Hiya. You all you wanna do is just bomb people over and over and over. And yell at Gash to get the uh, that Ender Three over here, so I can figure out what's wrong with it. <laughs> so you can like start three D printing everything. Trust me, it's a like it's a bad addiction. Like you will get like the printer, and you'll be like, "Oh, I want to print that. I want to print that." Trust me, like, a lot of the stuff that I printed out, I actually just, like, sold it off to my friends to get, like, the price of, like, the material back. Just literally, like, I had way too much, like, printed stuff. Uh, your head is not flimsy at all on this thing. Yeah, I think I need a quick drying on this thing. I don't know, like the organizers, especially like the stepped ones, I already told you, like, I don't like stepped organizers because of the, the fact that it takes up quite a lot of space on your actual desk. You know, like, I'd rather it all be like flat up against the all, and it just goes vertical because you almost never use your vertical space. Oh yeah, the honeycomb ones are really nice. They take kind of a lot of plastic, but they're still really nice. The issue is to have like a seamless transition between the bottom ones and the top ones. Ah uh, yeah, the she robot. Yeah, but that's really what it is. It's once you get something, yo, you didn't know I had a pitcher. Like it's a full-on two-liter pitcher, and then everybody like somehow gets me to drink the entire thing. <laughs> See, at least I know not to put it all the way down on the ground.
Like, I know Joe is just pretty much like, comes in, lurks, accumulates all his points, and he's like, I'm gonna make him drink like a leader one shot. And now he's just gonna be like, you know, I could just like refund all your hydrates, right? <laughs> then you can just try again later. Oh, I forgot to tell you and Joe about these cool little things. It's uh, little mini sanding files that have like sponge. It's pretty much just like a nail file, but at different grits. Really good for plastic. Little sanding sticks. What the heck? This guy just head just doesn't want to stick. Apply more pressure. Yeah, that should be right. I'm actually very, very worried about this head. I'm gonna have to check back on it after every, all the glue has cured. We assembled it, so it should be able to should be able to do this without too too much issue. Hiya! <laughs> Oh, this one looks like it's going to be crazy fun. Literally a skeleton.
Hey, how's it going, Daisy Fugazi? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Yeah, same old, same old. Went out, got myself a pint of ice cream and some sticker paper. And then got confirmations on stuff. And yes. Hope everyone's day has been well. So I think I figured out who I'm going to do non-metal metallic on as my first endeavor into trying this stuff. I still got some Stormcast guys lying about. And I think I'm going to try doing all of this non-metal metallic. I think it'll come out all right. I think. I hope. Because I went out and bought literally all the colors that I would need. <laughs> Apparently there's a way to do it with an airbrush quickly. Ooh. There. Yeah. 40k. Or AOS. I'm going to take AOS. Because AOS is just... Uh, honestly, AOS is just way more fun to paint. It's not the it's not the most fun thing to build, though. Been collecting a death rattle. Let's Google up this thing. So I can see all the min all the minions of the death rattle. So you're gonna find this really interesting. When you get the uh hex uh well actually the black knights, you actually get the hex rates too. Well, I have both, personally. I, I actually enjoy 40k, just the aesthetics of it. But my wife be, uh... Well, let's just say I lost this battle, okay? <laughs> she literally told me, like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, you paint really well, but, you know, 40k guys are just, you know, like, they look so normal. <laughs> just like shit. Then uh yeah. Then I bought some starter sets for Age of Sigmar and then I put my airbrush skills to work and then wifey loves it, so like hmm, keep going with 40k where my wifey doesn't really give a damn, or go with Age of Sigmar where she loves it. Uh, I was trying, to, like, I have a, what's it there, an Adeptus Mechanicus start collecting set, and I'm trying to trade it or sell it, and some guy, they don't, like, I don't understand what it is with some people over here. It's like, okay, I have a brand new, like, Adeptus Mechanicus box. Like, I'm selling it as brand new. <sighs> My strat? The strat of painting it all multicolors and... No one, like, if anyone ever cares, well, too freaking bad. That's the best strat. Hey, man, like, what do you, what do you, how can you tell me, like, anything about how, like, spirits are supposed to look? I, yeah. So many things to do. But, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be getting my stuff. Oh, yeah? Well, 
my reasoning for all of them being different colors is that the stuff that they were buried with transmutes them, blah, blah, blah. Also, Frosty wants me to color some in some crazy colors. Hi, yeah. No, no, ball. Keep it within him. So weird. Clip things. I don't understand why my screen always. Never go right back to the same position. Oh, crazy it looks always looks awesome because it just doesn't look the same. I don't know. Personally, I need. I think Warhammer needs people to literally shake up what is like color. So that seems like a really big thing for them. It's just like you know, everyone gets intimidated by the boxes. You see the box. And then you're like, oh, well, the box looks like this, but I can't paint like this, so I feel intimidated by X, Y, Z box. That's why, like, I just paint with, like, whatever the heck I have on hand. Like, yes, I do have, like, an obscene amount of stuff. Because, I don't know, I have an obscene amount of stuff. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's something you can mess with. That's good. I like that. Tell them straight up. It's like, yeah, it's all from different people. Man. The meta age of soul. Yeah, like, you will definitely not have an issue with trying to find, like, extra bits like that. A lot of people will be looking for vampire things soon, I think. Because they're releasing vampires as their own standalone. Gonna have to ask maybe Dicestone about that one. But I'm pretty 
pretty sure that's what they announced. Pretty sure. I need to get sword stuff out the car. It's like, uh... As long as, like, no murders happen. Fact. Be right back. I gotta get some evidence out the car. Says the one posting on the internet that he's gonna get sword stuff out the car. Just, just, just saying. I'm pretty sure that's like red flags. Like, I don't know if it's actually true or not, whether like, if you say specific things on your phone calls, like... The NSA starts to like record all your conversations. I think it's just kind of funny, but I can understand it. But it's my privacy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get it. I get both sides of the argument. <laughs> Who I agree with? Eh, I don't know. I'm in Canada. Yeah, for sure for me. Might have gone up considerably. Talking about issues, like all sorts of stuff. Are you airbrushing it or are you brushing it on? And are you using those crazy color shift paints? Or are you using like flat colors or Oh, this looks crazy fun to put together. So I have all these little itty bitty pieces that are all supposed to stick together. Pure brush? It's cool. I definitely want to see how that comes out. Like, I want to see something more than, like, you know, the basic, like, cyberpunk look where it's, like, purple and pink and blue and a little bit of orange. Like, I'm going to do some crazy stuff. I know one of my Space Marines is literally going to end up looking like a freaking Hello Kitty model. 
It's gonna be great. Okay, how the heck can I fix? Right, let's get the head on first. So the head dictates where the arms will be able to reach. Mine's gonna go away. So has anyone watched the new uh, Pacific Rim thing? Ooh, Dice Dome coming in with the murder spree. Put his hands in the air so he can wave them around like he just don't care. Quite a considerable amount of glue on so that it'll say for instance, yeah, took out everybody. See, now you can tell C-Fox, it's like, hey, like, uh, 
my Dragonite wins. What about your uh, Alolan Raichu? Good work. It's good. Like, I'm rewatching uh, the original Pacific Rim, and then tomorrow I'm watching it the other. The Uprising? No problem. Every sale's a good one, and I'll be sure to drop on in. This freaking thing. Stick and freeze. Why? Why make the stupid skeleton so annoying? Wait. Okay. Am I just crazy or the guy in the first film is no longer... Like, Michael was there. What the hell happened to the dude that was piloting what's-its-face? Gypsy Danger? That's what kind of threw me through for a f Oh my god, stupid thing. Just... Both sides, both sides, both sides. Just... Come on, come on. Ultra quick and try to smush this together. Because the guy that was, like, piloting Gypsy Danger with Mako at the end. Literally, they survive. Pentecost passes away. But then it's just like... Yeah, I was just like, what happened to him? Like, okay, you guys had, the like, the Boyega guy come in as Pentecost kid. But, like, you still have other characters. That's what kind of confused the crap out of me. I was just like, what happened to other characters? Which one? The old one? The new one? Oh, original, bah. It's a... It's a three, four-year-old movie? At this point, it's like, eh. Do a little spoilery warning and... Uh, Oh, good.
Yeah. There's no way you're surviving literally susploding and on top of susploding like the pressure of the sea. Nope, nope, literally blew up. That was uh, really freaking rough to, like, assemble. <laughs> Here's some wavy articulation points. Enjoy. Okay, so at the end... You see Mako and the pilot of Gypsy Avenger, uh, uh, Raleigh. What? Ha like, do, do we see him in the second movie? Like, is he like replaced by another actor, or am I just like okay? Like, they straight up got rid of his character because like Mako turns into like the marshal. Like, they literally just said, we, like, car accident, boom. Like, of all the things that killed them, was a car accident. Eh. Or, like, it, like, you're gonna kill off Mako, right? Like, she dies in the freaking helicopter, right? So, at least, like, okay, you know, uh, like, happy live ever after happen, and then... Something stupid happened where, I don't know, like, cancer turned it into, like, literally, you know, a daytime soap opera medical thing. And, like, okay, he died. Oh, no. Heartbroken. She dives into work, becomes Marshall. You know. Yo, like, you could have done so much more out of it her death just been like i don't know something really dumb like someone tries to hit on her and like yo dude no man she just literally could have just had someone try to hit on her and then have somebody in the movie say hey no no no, no. like you don't want that because not, not because like you don't want that to be mean but it's like no dude uh she's not she's not happy when people do that she gets really upset because you know her and Raleigh got together, and then Raleigh ended up, you know, kicking the bucket. I don't know, like, so many things. But then they just like, eh. He no longer exists. He, uh, dies. Like, okay, like, what the hell? It just seemed very, like, a cheap cop-out. Like, we didn't really want to, like, put too much effort in. What's going on, Sentinel Antorn? How are you doing today? Hope all is well.
Well, wasn't that supposed to be the thing in the second one? That they weren't really, like, they're all decommissioned relatively? Ish? Okay, now I'm a bit confused. Oh, uh, like design wise, it was really weird. The fact that you could control like smaller Jaegers with only one person, I'm like, okay, you could have literally built Voltron. Like, <laughs> just build Voltron at that point. Yeah, like, they look a little... I don't know. For me, it was just weird. The fact that, okay, if you close the rift in one movie, why would you... Like, continue with the automated Jaeger pro? Like, at that point, it's like, you literally might as well do Ender's Game. Where it's like, okay, we've, we fended off the first attack, which literally took years and years and years. We lost a lot of people. The world's not in shambles anymore. Because literally everyone's profiteering off of, like, Kaiju everything. Ooh, I want to see those... High Knight Shadow Stalkers. Yeah, I th that's, that's what I thought too. It's like everything seems to like go faster. If that made any sort of sense. Ooh, man, those look so pretty. I was looking at these at one point, but my wifey told me no. Sento, paint them up really nice and send me photos so I can send them to wifey and she'll be like, oh my god, they're so cute. And then, like, there's also, like, I think there's, like, female characters in this a bunch. It's so funny, too. For, for me, like, my wifey, whenever she sees, like, characters that have, like, actual bosoms, she's like, oh, my God, get them. Get them. No problem, Frosty. Thank you, thank you, thank you for popping on by. Tell you the little ones I say hi. Well, little, big one. And heck, tell them all I said hi. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. Anything that has boobs, wifey is just like, oh, it has boobs. Why don't you get that? She wants my Instagram to flourish. <laughs> yeah but it can't like for her i think it's more like the fact that she doesn't want it to be like just like straight up slaneshi you know because like yeah i don't know like the heat nice and slanesh they don't look that great they just look naked and it's just like not fun like, there's no variation on color. It's just like, okay, they're literally just naked and they're just running around with, like, cloth on. Mind you, it, it does follow the rules. What are these tiny things I'm working on? I am working on some Hex Wraiths and some Black Knights. Currently, I'm the Hex Wraith parts. And these things ride on some... Uh, let me go grab them because they're up there. Some horses that are here. <laughs> the horses that have no heads. So I'm working on these. So when you buy uh, like a start collecting set or a hex rates or whatnot, they give you these, they give you five like undead horses. 
and they give you the option of making either hex rays, which just pop on like that, or black knights, which also pop on just like that. The thing is, is like, if you make them the exact way that they tell you to, you will be stuck with one or the other. I want to be able to pop them on and off and change them whenever I feel like it. At some point, I will magnetize them all with like uh, the same system, but I have to build them all first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could, but unfortunately, I have to keep them separate for now. I will if I have, like, a bunch more. But currently, I don't have a bunch more. A little sad. The big sad. But yeah, it pretty much ends up like this, and the rains, they kind of have an opening so you can just switch in between and I want to make sure that it doesn't damage any of the paint and it looks kind of like it was meant to be that way I'm just so surprised to be here Ooh. <laughs> I don't know it's so like I don't know. They, they just go all sorts of directions with like War Cry and all that other stuff. It just goes left, right, and center. I love the lore of the Hedonites of Slanesh, but I just don't like the models. Like, they look nice most of the time, but it's just... Eh. It's just lackluster. Like, if it was, like, highly visualized, like, you know, lots of, like, stuff hanging out, yeah, yeah, you peach you. And if you earn enough points by either watching, playing, or gambling up in the channel, you can choose a different avatar. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's the thing with, like, AOS. It just seems like they're pumping out massive amounts of stuff, but they're not sure how to, like, classify everything as of yet. I personally, like, eh. It's because I'm not really playing the game at this point, because of the whole COVID situation, right? I'm just building stuff, painting stuff. Trying out fun techniques. And then hopefully the play group that is around my area isn't just a bunch of people that are just like, no, you, you can't play with that color because you're using that rule set. I would literally just lose my mind. And already, like, Quebec is weird. Because the Facebook group, like, dictates, like, how much you're allowed to charge for things, which makes me kind of laugh. Like, if you professionally paint something, you cannot charge more than 120% of what it costs you to buy the model. So you're telling me if I decide to sell my Silent King that I spent 30 plus hours on, like, I can only sell it for max 220 bucks? Like, no thank you. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Those people really do suck. It always just like, ugh, sets me off with those people. Eventually, they'll all get weeded out. Yeah, like Dark Elf Dragon God, that just sounds fun. Me, I'm all for it, as long as the minis look awesome. I can't wait. The only thing I think is that 40k, they're not going to change too much. 
because of like they just released their rule book but i think i actually like age of sigmar better it just seems like a faster game especially like the fight cycle it's not just like i'm just swinging with absolutely everything i have and if i get really lucky i'm gonna decimate like your entire army in one shot <laughs> it's like roll six on everything okay congratulations everything is like getting wounded everything and like all your the the saves it's like don't go through so you're pretty much just eating pure unadulterated damage it's like well okay that was fun Yes, blood for the blood god. I guess it's fun too. How are you doing today, Muffin Hunter? Thank you everybody for popping on in. Watching me build up the Hex Wraiths and the Black Knights so they can become interchangeable. And most probably magnetized by the end of this series, I'd say. Because I'm not sure how long it would take me because I've never built them. 40k I love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Muffin Hunter, for the follow. Very, very much appreciated. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like 40k for like the world that it's in but i love aos now because of my wifey because it's just it's so much more freeing to paint like i don't have to like follow like blocks and lines and like very very hard edges like it's all flowing like cloth material it just it's so fast to paint Ooh, I gotta, I actually never actually checked it out. Let's check this out. Like the little itty bitty? What? So tiny. I'm not sure whether he's tiny or not. <laughs> Hi, yeah, you should see the stuff that I've come up with. I cannot wait. Like, I saw uh, Ox the Fox on his stream pull up a uh, Space Marine Hello with Hello Kitty heads on them, and I want to do it. I want to get, like, a squad. <laughs> I think I might literally make, like, a weeb like 1000 point army just like full of like weeby looking stuff and just like see what what i could do to mess with people okay wait what the heck am i doing here okay this is four. I don't know which one old the gas is, but I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that small mini one that like doesn't look right. Yeah, it's like the little mini metal in the gas that's on like a little last like thing where it doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really what like stores and even like like the official warhammer thing need to really start pushing it's like hey if you don't like the like these predetermined colors you can always make your own here's how
Because it's all fine and dandy if they tell you. It's like, yeah, you're allowed to make your own custom chapter. Just follow these rules. It's like, okay, but... Like, imagine if you're someone that's brand new to the game. That, like, task is daunting. Like, I haven't even, like, thought or tried anything about it. <laughs> so, just the fact that they're telling me, it's like, yeah, you can do it, but... Here's kind of, like, loose instructions... And the game has a stigma where it's like, okay, you must follow these rules or else. <laughs> it's really hard with an IP like... Uh... Like Warhammer to abolish like Marines in general like even space wolves still like yeah it's still kind of marine-ish and i think especially now that the whole covid situation happened they're definitely gonna stick with uh marines and necrons for like a good chunk of change because it's just a cash cow for them Oh man, that whole like dark elf, Jukari, Eldar, like oh my god, don't even get me started on that. When I was trying to help, like when I was trying to get into this game with one of my friends, he knew some of the lore. So he's like, oh, well we both have Tabletop Simulator, we can both play. So I was doing research on how to make army lists and stuff, and I couldn't figure out for like, I think a day or two. That Jukari were Dark Eldar. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, I don't understand. What's happening? And then I found an article about it. And then I was like, well, thanks. But it's kind of cool that... Uh, what's there? Like, Warhammer is a legacy format game for me. What I mean by that is just that if you had Nagash, like original Nagash, you can still use him at like any official-ish event, I assume. But you would just have to replace the base to the same size of like the newest edition, which isn't that bad. Like you don't have to buy like a, you know, a uh, $180 model or whatever the hell it costs. It's like you just buy the base or make a base that's that size and you just drop the mini on top of it. So there is that. Yeah, like if I had that little tiny thing, it's like, oh my god. Like I would I would literally just go and buy like the mausoleum set and just put him surround him with the mausoleum. It's like, yeah, he just walks around with a cemetery. What's up? <laughs> would just be awesome. Oh. Oh, I'm getting ever so close. 16 more people, and I do a mini giveaway. Nothing too crazy. Unfortunately, I am not made of money, but I do try to be ultra duper nice to everybody. Some know, some don't. If you ask real nice, I'll let you know. I 
I wish I had like massive amounts of extra organs, man, I would be rolling in it. <laughs> yes, I'm actually just going to be making a bunch of stickers and pretty much just raffling it off as like I do a couple of streams until I run out. Like I'll raffle probably off like, I don't know, 10 or 15. <laughs> yes, I do. I enjoy being able to walk around. <laughs> like walking around without being short of breath is, I don't know, it's pretty up there in my things of like things I enjoy doing. Get a scooter. No, I think my wifey would just strongly disagree with that. She would just like be like, no, you, you just you just be healthy. Because, well, my wifey. She wants me to be healthy with her. And I want to be healthy with her as well. Yes, yes. Now the question is, do you save for alternate color avatars? Or do you just go full hog and you get just a simple one? Whatever you do, do not pick Alolan Raichu. Because Sea Fox Paints did. And oh, let's just say during Battle Royale, Sea Fox no longer wins any. Two thousand. So, like for Pokemon's, it's like the shiny versions, or different region colors. I think if I was right, if I did it right. Yeah. hate on Pichu. It's Pichus. It's like every time you went to like any Pokemon movie, like there was always some weird little thing with Pichu. Like some short before the movie. There was always a Pichu. And then Pikachu would be like right there, like making sure that the Pichu doesn't get in trouble. And then somehow getting into like all the trouble. It was funny. Oh, yes, the tentacruel. God, I think like tentacruel is also one of those Pokemon that you barely ever see in the show. You see him like, I think in season one? And then it kind of just fades off in obscurity. No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by. Hope you have yourselves a good night. Hope to see you again next stream.
Yeah, these suckers are definitely not easy to build. What's going on, Borax? I'm assuming it's Borax JW with the little X's on the side, like OG, like I couldn't get my name because it was taken something. How's it going? Hope everything's going well with you. Hey, Mr. Altier, what's going good? Hiya. I am now patiently waiting for the shipping quote from Mango. says it's going to be all right, <laughs> yet I am in, like, constant disbelief. Man. Fine, you want to be weird. You flood the field with glue. Take this and drop it on. Slight rotation to try to get it to smush together. Nice. Oh, second instance, what is going on? What is going on? Yes, things are going great. How are you doing today? Hope yours is going as well as mine. Or even better. Because why not? I'm trying to fit these friggin' parts together. They don't feel like seating themselves, right? Definitely need some finagling. That's right, finagling. Ooh. What you got? What you got? What you got? on the docket.
I would say go with the Caradon Overlord fleet because the basing project for that is always super duper fun. Because I'm pretty sure it's just fluffy clouds. And I'm just going to put it out there. I was thinking about like getting... Uh, there's like these little tea lights that have like RGB settings and they have like wireless remotes. But like the thing I'm planning in my brain for if I ever got those is like beyond insane amounts of stuff. Because literally I would like have to like make my own bases. Because I, I would need to like be able to access a battery port and like it'd just be really, really insane. Like at one point, if I could find like a cheap Caradon Overlord, like a single one for like not much, I would probably pick it up. And like when I'm talking cheap, I'm like eBay, like nobody else wants this because it's literally in parts and like busted. Ooh, you, you did crystals? Oh, that sounds nuts. Oh man. Crystals flying through like a gem mine. I yeah. Did you print out like transparent crystal stuff or like like PLA printed or resin printed some stuff Ooh Ooh that sucks size size Hmm do I have extra size no, yeah, that sucks. Well, I think you could always just take, like, if you have the hex rays, I think you get, like, a gajillion of these things. You could just mod these, no? Like, if you just lost, like, the size. Like, you could literally just use this thing with, like, a banner or... Yeah, you could just, like, chop one and just, like, put it at a different angle and, like, wrap it with, uh... Google Translate? Oh. Yeah, you just use these. Like, you already have them. Might as well. So you just make, like, the... the anime style... Wait, what is that? What was that anime? Uh, the kid? Like the site? Hold on, let's see, let's see. There we go. Here we go. I got you. Idea right there. So you see how right here is just a stick. You can just make this out of any random piece of plastic. And you just, at the point where they meet, because it's going to be really fragile, you just put like, you just wrap it and then just put glue. But then you'll have like scythe replacements. <laughs> if you wanted to have scythes still. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, see, yeah. Actually, let's go back. Here, perfect example. It's just a stick. But it, you know that in your mind it's a sight. 
It's like, yeah. Something like that. And you can literally just take a sprue and just shave it. And just have, like, a small scythe. Because these things aren't that long. Like... You just shave a sprue and use the spears that you get with the hex rays. And just... Make it like that. You'll probably be stronger than what they would give you. No, oh, this is the right freaking head. No problem. I'm glad I could help. Yes, I understand. Like, nice, thank you. I was getting very frustrated. Just kind of like how I'm getting frustrated with this thing right now. <laughs> Let's just look up hex rays. I might have literally just glue, glued stuff all sorts of wonky. Okay. Oh no. In you. So that's supposed to be there. Oh, this is kid. What the? One, two. Yes, I glued the wrong head on the wrong body. Oh no. Hi, yeah. I need some high yes chat. Hi, yeah. No. You could take, like, a cotton ball and just peel off and make it smoke. And just airbrush, like, just take a little bit of paint, make it look like it's glowing, fake glowing head that you can't see. Or you can see, you just take a little marker after and you just put, like, two dots in a mouth. Uh, yeah. Hi, yeah, I just kind of messed up. Okay, this is supposed to go with this. Okay, so all I need to do is pop this head off, which seems like it's about to fall off anyway. And yep, it just fell off. Down. Is that the 
back of this we'll be able to there and then this crazy other one this one this one could just have a head that just sits there There we go. Makes more sense. Awesome. Yeah, that's always a struggle. Hmm. Like, my hands shake, like, slightly, too. You just have to find, like, causes of why you're shaking. Or even if, just, like, rest your hands. Find the most comfortable position. Like, I can paint, like, just in front of me, but some people, they just, like... They literally put it on their chest and... Like they paint on top of their chest. Like some people, like, they just leave the mini on the table and they just like support it, two hands. Like, there's lots of stuff you can try, but I'm sure you're, you're gonna figure something out. If there is a will to paint, there is a way to paint. Always. Gonna trim off this area so I can have both the dark knights and the hex rays. Removing this little bump so that whenever I decide to swap, it doesn't ruin the paint job that's underneath as much. Little amount of friction as possible. So just so that everyone knows, I'm not actually like forcing the knife, I'm just dragging the knife through the plastic. It takes practice and you'll you'll find a way, guaranteed. Like I've been doing this for years. Not painting miniatures, but just building Gundams, scale models and stuff. And I never thought about like doing anything really so I thought it was just like oh this is for fun but now it's like okay I can actually like do this all right so it's nice and easy I am 34 <laughs> I'm really old for like hobby wise, I guess. I was always in the hobby stores when I was younger. So, yeah.
I'm missing one horse. What? I feel like I'm going nuts. What the? Hi, yeah. I don't know where the heck the other four seats. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Maddie? For everyone that doesn't know, should all go and check out Maddie. Also, another amazing painter that just discovered some cool stuff on his stream. Trust me, he paints well. It's fun on his stream. Things are happening all the time. Maddie, I'm going nuts. I made five horses, well, horsey bodies, and so let, 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 let me tell you a little something about losing your marbles. This is what it looks like to lose your marbles. What the heck did I do with it? I just had them. Uh, I paint immediately. You figured out the whole oil f fiasco. Two, three, four. Man, I knew I should have, like, literally stuck all of them onto bases. It would have been just so much harder to lose. <laughs> but no. No, I lost, like, an entire, like, horse body. <laughs> but it's not that I lost it. I just misplaced it somewhere. Because my desk is messy, and my wife's going to hear that, and then she's going to laugh at me and tell me to clean my desk. Alright, anyways, don't worry about it. We'll be moving on, because we got to build the Black Knights now. No, oh, I got everything. Like, i just missing literally that thing. Yeah, it's because it's my whole room is dark, and I probably put it, like, on, like, my shelf... Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's probably somewhere, like, over there in the darkness that I can't see. So, I don't want to, like, turn on all my lights and, like, go blind. <laughs> but, yeah. So, horses, no heads. Because I don't want to build those heads. They're annoying me. So, now we will build... Okay, we're just gonna put these guys away. So they don't get annihilated. I should have honestly left them all in the tray, but I uh, didn't think about it back then. <laughs> hey, yeah, where is this arm? Oh, I'll figure that out later. All right, so now we gotta bring out one horse body. To use as an example. So you see how right here, if I was to build this half together, it would be just permanently stuck. I would never be able to get it around the horse's neck. So from there, I'm just going to trim it, let's say, to here. Yeah, let's uh, bust out some of those. So let's see. This. This go together. So we're gonna remove at least from here. 
So we're going to remove all of this. So all of that will be gone, and same goes with all that. So we're going to be chopping off of all of that so we can have both. Uh, I'm currently only building and painting because COVID. But sooner or later, when things open up, and I can go and play. I will be playing with a couple of my friends. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so I am kind of in a mad dash to paint and build as much as I possibly can so that I can have armies upon armies that I can use, play with uh, whenever I feel like. Let's get some glue on. So Muffin Hunter, I'm assuming you play? And I guess uh, you also play Night Hots. Oh, that sucks. Hi, yeah. Rigged. Ultra rigged. Ah, jeez. That's horrible. At that point, I would have just, like, claimed it. And said, yeah, it's, uh, it's never gotten here. I don't I paid for it. I don't have my product. Do you only pay like paint with uh Games Workshop paints? Like there's no other alternative for you? If there was no other alternatives, I would say maybe just check an art store for like artist paints. Is like acrylic paint is acrylic paint. This is just like made for models with like really fine like pigments. 
but you could always use like like basic uh like i really don't know yeah you can well these are water-based acrylic paints right and this one is from spain so i don't know if you'd be able to get vallejo in germany like it is a lot closer to you than me but because of the whole brexit uh, thing that's happening or has happened i should say i would not know exactly how to get paint let's have a look german germany It's so weird, too, that you guys are just so close, and because of Brexit, like, it's all sorts of stupid around you guys. But, like, if you use, like, water colors, like, actual water colors, it will just slide off your miniature most of the time. You would just spend forever, like, giving it ultra light coats to try to get it to fit right, and that would not be fun. They should still be open. Like, unless you mean, like, they permanently close their doors. Which may have happened. Which kind of sucks. I don't know. Personally, I don't like Games Workshop paints. Because, well, Games Workshop paints are, well, I don't like them. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. To be very, very, very frank. Jeez. Flashes off so fast. I literally have to just leave it off. Apply a moderate amount of pressure. And it should be sealed up nice and tight. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, the one over here in Quebec is... Uh, they used to have a large store. But then after, I don't know, maybe like five or six years, they moved their store from part of the mall to another part of the mall, and they just sell miniatures now. Like, they have no gaming space. They have nothing. Oh, it's okay. Like, I have a lot of local game stores. It's a lot better, personally, that I have a lot of local game stores rather than... Ooh, a bit too high. I'd rather have a lot of local game stores because, one, it's considerably cheaper. And it's, like, nicer communities, I would say. Like, there's a lot of nicer people that go to those stores. I think just within 30 or 40 minutes of my home, there's like eight different stores, but all currently like have closed their doors for gaming. 
So a lot of the like Quebec like Warhammer players, all of them are just buying and building and building and building and building. Yeah, honestly, Games Workshop, like the stores are usually very, very sparse. They'll have paint just because they have it. Oh, like, yeah, but that's like also like the, it also depends on how much of their community is buying from them. It's like, yeah, I can have like 40, like, Warhammer players in my store, but how many, how many of them are actually buying miniatures at my store? Right? Like, if I was to open up a store and no one was ever buying Warhammer like plastic from me but i'm constantly opening my doors to them i would just stop i would just stop like all warhammer just because it's like okay hey, guys like you're literally not supporting my store Ooh. yeah i would look in germany because i think there's like a lot of like german scale modeling stores Bottom one bird. Bye. In Stuttgart. Baden Wattenberg? Or Wattenberg? I think it might be Wattenberg. Wattenberg? <laughs> Unfortunately, I I'd, I'd, I'd like I barely barely speak any German. Yeah, you have like a lot of. Hmm. Yeah. You need to look maybe into the let's see if go here. Yeah, please uh, translate this all to English for me. Oh yeah, you guys have all the rebel stuff. It's a very hard language, and it's a very how can I say this? It's a very aggressive language. Yeah, you can have a lot of uh, hobby stores. I think you just need to look for non-Games Workshop associated stores. If you have already the miniatures, just look for just the actual... Like, any remote controlled car store, train store. Like, train store was the best. Because usually train stores and scale hobby stores, they will always have the best prices on paints. Because the guys that use those paints, they buy a lot. So their stock is constantly rolling. So for them buying 10 little things of paint... That's gonna like one guy's gonna buy like five because he has to do like I don't know a mountain. <laughs> like, it's different from like a little miniature store where someone has to do one mini, you know, and it, they're gonna keep that one bottle time for like I don't know four months. Like I just found us like a place in Quebec that uh, they don't really deal with like Warhammer. They have it just to have it, just because it, for them it's for fun. But their main source of income is from remote control cars, trains, and other scale hobbies. 
Like they're paints they don't care about. They're just like you guys are gonna like if it's cheaper, you're gonna you're more inclined to use more faster. Personally, that's what I think. Let's get a banner on this guy. We're gonna just gonna try to replicate the stuff on the thing. And he has a... I can't freaking tell. A uh, black knight. Oh, um... If you're looking for paint, don't go to Games Workshop. Go to, uh... Like... Literally, someplace like this. This is, I don't know, this is just something I found, like, very fast. But it's in, like, uh, it is in Stuttgart. So. But you have a lot of choices in Germany. Look for places that sell trains like little trains and like little remote control cars they're always gonna have like better prices on paint because usually the the trains a lot of people put a lot more paint and the remote control cars people crash them so people put like a lot of paint on it so and like if you take it out one day and like you know the guy wants like breaks a piece, always gonna paint it again, so paint's always cheaper at those places. Well, in Canada, at least. <laughs> I cannot attest to everywhere else in the world, but uh, yeah. Like, I think this is usually $4 everywhere in, Can in Montreal, in Quebec, really. But there's one store that sells it for $3.25. So, I went there. It's a nice store. First time there. Holy jeez. Uh... My god. <laughs> That's a lot. And you're only one province over. You know, the that's that's insane. That's too expensive. What the heck is that even me? Kannst du langsam schneller gehen? Maybe. <laughs> I think that means, like, can you try to hurry up if you try to switch it over to English. Yeah, that's pretty... Like, that's really long for can you try to hurry up. Whoops. Destroyed that. Oh, 
My wife is going to watch the VOD like, why speak German? Because it was fun. <laughs> Oh man, this 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 piece right here looks like oh, it feels like it will snap if I apply too much pressure anywhere. What the Jesus? Then there can Suzyke. Nung slice the kaiter rung super what? Two soft gabin nerd root. Wow, I can't even finish that. <laughs> like I'm just running out of breath. <laughs> I just want to see what. <laughs> like what the heck? Did you guys just try beef labeling? And that's literally what it is. Beef labeling, meat labeling, monitor, task transfer, law. What the shit? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Rinderkennzeichnungsfleisch, Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Did y'all just hear that? I hope y'all just heard that. Rinderkennzeichnungsfleisch, Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Like, that's one way to keep your lungs really healthy. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, you know what it translates to? You put it in Google Translate, it literally just gives you beef labeling, meat labeling, monitoring, task transfer law. Like, that just seems like a really complicated way to just say, like, ensuring beef's quality. Like, the quality seal on, like, AAA grade beef or something? <laughs> Good lord. Like, that's a lot to, like... Like, that's this ridiculous of, like, were they just trying to, like, find a way to use every single letter in the Roman alphabet? Like, hey, guys, you want to know what would be funny today? If we just messed with everybody and just tried to add more than, like, you know, 30 characters and put every single, I'm pretty sure there is, maybe... C, D, E, F, G, come on, H, H, I, where's J, come on, there's got to be a J in here, there's no J, what is this, what is this insanity, they make this thing so long and they could have put a J somewhere in there, that, that is uh, ridiculous. That's 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 like that's just like what the why? Why would they do this? Like, hey, uh, you want to know what would be fun today, Joe? Guess what, Joe? I made a new word. What? What's the word, Joe? Imagine trying to put every single letter that we have into a single word. What does the word mean, Joe? It literally means nothing. What? What do you mean, nothing? That's literally what it means. It just means nothing. I just wanted to mess with people. And make people say it just to say nothing.
Yeah, but you, you, you have to remember. Okay. Uh, what? You guys should try smaller. Wait, seven millimeters? I don't even know how big, like, the regular ones are. Hold on. Let me go check. What are the regular size for scarabs? Jeez. Uh, do I have a sprue with those things? Hold on, let's find it. Let me measure it. Let me just, I will find one sprue with a bunch of them. Into its box. Well, let's measure again, because why should we believe the person? So, where, 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 where are we measuring from? Head to head? Head to tail? Head to toe. <laughs> All right. Front to back. So the big boy that's in the front is roughly what? 12 millimeters, then I got another one at 12, 9, 9, 8. I, I, I don't know how this person is trying to uh, measure. Yeah, it's like 9 or 8. 10 is a little bit much because we're already working in millimeters. But yeah, like, and if the guy really wants, I could literally find a caliper at some point and just measure it all out. But it's about like eight to eight and a half. That's the smallest. If the guy wants, I've learned. It also depends on what the guy wants to do. Welcome back, Frosty. Hope you had some quality time with the youngins. Ah, uh, okay. Like he's just gonna use it as like, like actual like scatter, like stuff like flowers uh yeah at that point just make it whatever the heck size he wants yeah they are I don't know. Like, they're a lot. They're like seven to a thing. It's like seven here, seven here, seven here. And then, like, there's like a gajillion. If I, like, pulled out, like, the Silent King that's, like, super far over there and, like, on a, like, crazy ass shelf. Yeah, it's like eight and a half. Like, if he wants, like, what is actually on a scarab, it's about an eight and a half. And there's no reason to, like, oh, you know, I should go a little less or a little more or whatever. Mm 
No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by, Muffin Hunter. It was very much lots of fun trying to pronounce that crazy German word that literally means, like, label? Beef label? Hope to see you again. Hope your sides come out nice. Have yourselves a good one. I am now on the hunt for muffins in the home. Watch as this majestic creature, Jashelbor, stalks its prey, which is the buffets. No problem. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Hope you come back sometime soon. Oh, Frosty, you want to hear the crazy word? Here, hold on. I, 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 I'll, I'm going to pause this. This is the word that my muffin hunter wanted me to try to pronounce. Rinderkennzeichnungsfleisch, Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. Like, that's the word. Like, what the heck? Like, that is such a long word. It literally translates to beef label. Which is kind of like funny. Just like, what? Yeah, it's beef label. <laughs> like, I'd have just been. I think if I went to school in Germany and then, like, my teacher told me, like, you have to say this word, I would just quit school. Just be like, no. 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 Like, what the heck? the heck is this thing right here? There we go. Alright, let's get that music back on. Bunch of lulls. Bunch of bunch of lulls. <laughs> Some stuff's important, but learning how to pronounce that is definitely would not be on my to-do list. I would just be like, yeah, beef label. I think I would just explain it to my teacher and be like, look, I can literally figure out how to say it in 18 different languages before I can even pronounce half of this. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I actually kind of want to know, but I kind of don't want to know all at the same time. Wonderful. Yeah, what can shield this one?
I should. Trassy, what did you have for dinner tonight? Curious. You decided to watch Venomous or something to do instead of watching me? Oh. Oh. Oh, so hurt. So hurt. God, I haven't heard that. In a long time. Yay. I feel as if I derp this up a bit, and I might be missing a sheet for some crazy reason. Might have forgotten to clip it off the, the thing. One, two, three, four. Well, that means I just uh, have to wait till I get it out. Huh? So check that out. Easy on off. So you just gotta trim that part so that when the neck is on, you will miss the neck. Right, here we have that just go. ESM. What in the world is ESM? <laughs> oh, he's signing Mario.
One. Two. And four. All right, there we go. That makes more sense. I don't know what I feel like eat today for dinner. Back, Mango. How's your stream today? Ooh, God. I actually really feel like making some pasta because I have some frozen spaghetti sauce. For everyone that doesn't know, y'all should go follow Mango Smash. She is freaking awesome. She's an awesome person in general. You know, just go support. Click. A couple clicks. It's free. It's awesome. Oh. For those that you don't know, Mega Smasher is donating an awesome battle tank thing jigger that I can't pronounce because it's just beyond me to Dr. Rhino's Save a Rhino Foundation. And you can win it just by going and donating $5 or even a dollar. Hiya! All I remember was the tank. So, j just saying. Like, not just a tank. And it'll be raffled off in June. Hiya! You know what? I might just do it. I already donated because rhinos. And I've established that rhinos are now just really swole unicorns. Like, ultra slow. No, no, no. Ultra swole armored unicorns. That's what they are. They got tired of people hunting them, so they just got really swole, put on some magic armor, and became and became like just big ass like rhinos. That's what it is. I swear the Rhino Foundation should just make those shirts. We're just swole armored unicorns. <laughs> like I am Rhino. It would be awesome. Hi, like, I just don't understand why there's like such a need to like to like hunt these animals. It's like, dude, there's there's no reason to do any of that stuff. Oh, there's medicinal properties. No, no, there isn't. All right, uh, for this, we will just. Uh... That should give us enough clearance to pass the neck. But like, okay, I could understand if there was like a mass population, like, you know, stuffing and mounting a head kind of thing. But like, there's not many left. And just because you want one doesn't mean you should get one. Like, and 
You only think about that and like if you were to eat the animal. Because <laughs> I would watch like way too much of uh, that meat eater thing on Netflix. And it just gives me like an appreciation for like people that actually hunt properly, not just like I'm gonna take like a high power sniper rifle and like sit on the side of the road, you know, use a rangefinder and like rail this thing from god knows how far. Like just so I can like stuff and mount it. No, 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 I'm not I'm not okay with that. Like people that go out, track it, lay out traps, and are actually using it to like eat, like that's cool. I find it personally. Or like even people that like bowfish, that's insane. Gotta calculate for like refraction of light. Oh jeez. Makes me feel kinda like eh. Okay. I'm good. Like I buy f I, I buy I buy fish. From the from the market. I don't like bones. <laughs> That's as far as it gets for me. There was, I think, if I remember right, there used to be some documentary on, like, how wolves, I think, saved uh, a national park that was just, like, getting messed up by, like, uh, uh, what's their beavers? No, like, just straight up sport hunting is just, like, it's kind of dumb. Like, hunting for eating makes sense because, well, you're eating the animal, right? Like, I can understand, like, you know, people mounting, like, doing that whole nine yards shtick, you know? But, like, that's, I'm only okay with that if you ate the meat if you didn't if you just like didn't eat the meat you're just a mean person <laughs> like i'm pretty sure one of my childhood friends his father like hunted a lot but then again, like, he would always come to, like, school and, like, what are you having for lunch? I'm like, I'm having venison. Like, what? What is that? It's like, it's deer. I'm like, okay. Like, that's really, like, whoa. Yeah, on, okay. I, I'm pretty okay with that, but, like, you tell me if you wanted to hunt, like, a really big thing, you're gonna, like, hit it with an arrow? Man, I'd be scared. Like, you want me to what? <laughs> like, that thing's, like, 50 times my size. It's just gonna murder me. It's scary. Cheers, people. No, rhinos don't need to be hunted. There's that crazy fish that needs to be hunted. Like, the ones that are in, like, America. And it's like, if you're, like, just, like, cruising around, like, they fly out of the water and, like, rail people in the head. Like, those ones apparently need to be hunted because literally they're just destroying the ecosystem over there. And I think there was a thing where the government actually pays you because they just don't have the resources and manpower to, like, organize. So it's just like, okay, you just bring us a head or something. And, like, the fish isn't, like, bad eating. So, yeah, it's like, just go hunt this invasive spirit, like, species, please. 
Like, they made, like, a boat that literally just, like, goes nuts on them. Which I find is extremely impressive. Alright, oop. That one is done. Now let's get the... Uh, grassy butt. Grass butt. Alright, grass guy. That's why, like, nowadays, when I think about, like, invasive species and all that kind of stuff, I think about all the times where my mother and, like, her friends... Okay, so, like, this is, I'm sure, happens with every single culture. Especially, like, immigrant, like, families. Where a lot of them will bring stuff illegally through to make or grow stuff that is not normally found here. Like, my mom brought back, like, all sorts of weird stuff once when I was younger. Thank God it didn't, like, go nuts and, like, destroy the ecosystem. Hey, yeah, no problem. You to do more? Do more. Let me finish this one. All right, clamshell one, clamshell two. Let's take a look at this. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the one bit. I just shall know. Pong. I love these fallen enemy markers. And they're so long. Stadler tried to fine liner. They're not as crazy fine as, like, these Gundam markers, though. Like, these Gundam markers are really fine. But, if you can't find these, you can just go to Costco and pick yourself up, like, a giant 28-pack of these. They'll do the job. They'll do the job real nice and pretty. All right, that one done. Ah, uh, yeah. Hold on, I just have to finish this one. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the hydrate. So did y'all get your stuff? Fine.
Jeez. Hiya. What is so hype? That's pretty lols. And also hella sus. So sad. Oh, no. Yep. Well, I'm happy I'm out. <sighs> So, have you printed anything else, Jess? You know, something cool we can all take a look at, take a little gander, see what you've been working on, see what you've been printing. Heck, even if you have those glamour photos, This seems to fit us nice. Hi, 
I, yeah. You just think I do, eh? I just want to do it the right way. So I can have the interchangeable guys. See? So then they come on and off. And also, I don't remember where I put instructions. So parts I have to uh, reference by eyeball, okay? Literally, I just like, I'm not sure which parts go. Because I literally just jumbled all the parts together. And I am missing a shield, I think. Or I put it in another boss. So I just have to quickly go through them all, and yeah. Because most likely tomorrow, I will be streaming some more, maybe? Or I will just put them all together off stream and finish this up. Because... But yeah. So I finished up all the bodies, I gotta play mix and match with all the heads and all the bits. It was like three, four, five. What the heck? Four heads. What the heck? I, yeah, I think I'm going a little crazy. Because I cannot find parts. Even though I cut them all out and organized them. So yeah. So I think we're going to take a break from it. I think next stream I'm going to just try my hand at doing non-metal metallics on this guy. But with an airbrush. I'm going to try with an airbrush and then come in with a brush and do some fun stuff. I think you guys will all like that. What do y'all think? Yeah? It shouldn't be ultra long. So I'm only doing one unit. But I think I might use a different unit. Like, I think I might use the, the guy that's like kind of in pieces still so I can get behind stuff and I don't like ruin the shields. So I think that'll be it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea for where the direction I should go in. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do, everybody? No. Well, the only thing is, if you were to, like, let's say, come by here, you would literally have to come... You're only allowed to be outside, like, on the road from 5 in the morning till 8 p.m. <laughs> like, those are the only times. Like, you can go out, do whatever, but... There is still a curfew in effect, which is kind of really, really weird. So, yeah. Uh... And then, now let's see. Let's see. Uh... Need just a second. We're going to try checking on who to do stuff. Uh, Hiya. That's no good. All right. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Ah, I know. I know what's up. We are going to go and raid Kaylee Larson. Because she came and raided me last time. So. Let go. Thank you everybody for coming and hanging out. Oh, it wasn't the greatest, most interesting thing I could have possibly done. 
because you know me building stuff generally isn't like the best thing it is nice to see like me building stuff and you can see some fun cool tips and tricks and see me like you know dance with the exacto of death but uh you know we'll uh try to stick more towards painting a little bit unless it's uh yeah, it's not the 12 more days of building. Ah, uh, yeah, so mean. All right, everybody. So thanks a bunch for hanging out. I'm going to probably try doing the non-metal metallics next stream. I'm going to finish up building this more on my free time because it seems like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if people are actually interested in me building stuff or not. So I got to gauge that. Getting some feedback from everybody would be really, really like helpful because I, I don't know like do you people in does like everyone enjoy watching me build things or is it just like something that no one cares about i'm just trying to show like that you can you know do hot swappable bodies and stuff <laughs> okay so i'll just keep doing that but i think the next stream i'll be doing the non-metal metallics because i bought the paint and it's cool on one of my wifey storm casts that i still gotta do and uh yeah that's it all right so everybody hang in there join in for the raid you know if you have emotes drop emotes if you don't you don't but say hi give kaylee larson a nice follow because she's an awesome person that raided us before all right everybody have yourselves a good one thanks for coming out and hang out